Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY. In today's project, we are assembling and testing out an Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt laser. If you follow my channel, you know I already have the 10 watt Xtool laser, the D1 Pro as well. So we're up in the game a little bit. We're going to 20 watt. I'm really excited to see the difference to test it out. This video will assemble this, we'll make a small project, and we'll go through the whole steps from start to finish of what to expect when you get your D1 Pro. Now, this is a great time if you're in the market for one of these tools starting today. Xtool is having a huge sale on their website, and how you get to it is I'll provide my affiliate link down below, and it really helps the channel if you use that affiliate link. If you are interested in X, uh, Xtool product, you can buy all the products from the website. So it really helps the channel if you click on that link. You can save a bunch of money with their sales starting today. So let's get started on this build.
All right, here we go. It's all put together. I would say it takes uh, around an hour. Uh, that was with filming as well. Maybe a little bit more with filming. For you, it should probably take under an hour. So it's very easy to put together. I have to say the assembly instructions that Xtool provides are excellent. I've, I've put together a lot of things over the years. I don't know if I've ever had a better experience as far, far as following along to the instructions. Very few words, which is good. Uh, mostly pictures, exactly where you should put the screws. The only tiny little thing that I wasn't sure is when I was attaching the uh, air assist piece, there's a little tiny piece of plastic on the nozzle that you had to remove. And so that was the only thing that kind of tripped me up. I was trying to get a screw in and unless you look closely, you can't see that you have to just peel off that little piece of plastic. So overall, great experience, very easy to assemble. And now we're gonna move on to actually seeing how this thing works. What I'm gonna use is the Xtool free software. It's uh, Xtool Create, I believe, their, their software. Now, as far as software goes, most people use Lightburn, I guess. And I have Lightburn, it's, uh, I think it's 60 bucks to buy it. Lightburn is really complicated. I love Xtool software because it's so simple. And you can get going so fast compared to Compared to Lightburn, it's just the, the user experience for first starting out, I highly recommend just using the free Xtool software. So let's uh, dig into that.
All right, it's all assembled, put together. We got our first little test run doing the logo and it worked great. I like it a little darker. I'm gonna adjust the settings now and that's, that's the biggest thing. You, you gotta play with the speed and the, the power, especially for engraving. The settings for uh, the actual cutting uh, went, went terrific. I can go twice as fast as my 10 watt laser that I had before, which kind of makes sense. You're going up um, to 20, but the faster you can cut in, with, with the air assist, uh, you can get cleaner edges. So that's a big thing where the 10 watt can cut just fine. It's just a slower process and sometimes those edges are a little bit more charred. So that's a, a huge improvement for this. So overall, terrific experience. I'm really excited to have the 20 watt now. I'm excited to try out thicker uh, plywoods and wood to see what it can cut. And yeah, if you have any questions about this product, uh, you can leave them in the comments section below. And if you're interested in buying an X-Tool laser, I'll leave my affiliate link down below. Um, that way you, you buy it straight from X-Tool. It doesn't, it, you usually save money compared to Amazon. A lot of times like X-Tool will be actually cheaper than going to Amazon. So you use that affiliate link. It won't cost you any more money. It gives me a little kickback and it helps support the channel, which I really appreciate. So as always, I'll see you next time.